you made it. Excellent. For this workout, you will need a chair, uh, preferably, preferably with some padding just because it feels nicer, and a towel or a band if you have one. Uh, and let's get started. So it's a bit of a back bending workout um, and a bit of a step up. So challenge for our balance as well. So come on down, just keep the, the towel or band handy. And then lay down on your back, arms easy by your sides, and about 90 degrees. About, maybe a little farther away is, is a bit more challenging, so it's a bit better. Also, make sure your chair is, is, if you push on it, it's not gonna move, right? So it's gonna stay put for our safety. So from here, imagine you have a magnetic field between the inner thighs, right? Drawing them together as we do, as we work our way up to a top, the top of a bridge here. So wiggle your pelvis, take a moment to see where the weight of it is. Lengthen through the sitting bones as you inhale, ground those arms, and then just start with a pelvic tilt, an active pelvic tilt, meaning maybe we get into the hams and glutes a little bit and scoop the sitting bones off, and then release back down, almost like we're massaging that lower spine. And then exhale, scoop, go into the ground before you float out right? Imprint that spine in sand, nice warm sand. And exhale, narrow the sitting bones, find that magnetic field, and lengthen that lower back down. In and ex. And in to come back down. And ex. Once more, I'm gonna scooch back a little bit. I need a little more space in my knees. And once again, exhale, scoop. And release. This time, let's think demi-bridge or half-bridge, right? So we inhale, and then we exhale. We move through that place we just found, and then we lift maybe all the way to the tips of those shoulder blades, and then we release and massage that waist and middle back as well as the lower back. In. And then exhale, feel free to go to that arch, right? Because we're gonna find its balance, its curl. Find those, find that magnetic field, find those inner thighs. And release back down, dripping back down. In, and ex. And really soften that sternum. Release back down, let's try one more there. And exhale, standing in those arches, and let's actually stay right where we are. So instead of releasing down, make sure you have a good foothold. We're gonna lead with the pubic bone, scoop up. Peel up to your bridge. Try to keep this really long, opening up the chest, looking straight up toward the sky. Now from here, from the back of the throat, we roll down to, from whence we came. Now we're in this banana, the scooped out shape. The pubic bone is our reference to rise up, taking your inhale. As we exhale, the back of the throat, move those vertebrae, right? Get some space in those back ribs as well. Super scooped here, super engaged. Inhale, release back up. And exhale, massage that upper spine. And then scoop the pubic bone leads us back up. And once more there, scooping down. And reaching back up unfolding, right? remembering we have balls in the sockets here, so we're gonna roll that pelvis up. We're gonna find that magnetic field that's energized the arms a bit more. From here, let's take one leg, step it down. Now, I'm gonna try to keep ascending as I do that. From here, find those inner thighs, roll it back down. Ah. The more parallel you stay, the more the quads are gonna benefit through length. Yeah, I, I just, I said that because that's what I felt. <laughs> and then from here, if I really keep parallel and roll up, I get that quad stretch. It's lovely. From here, we float that leg back up. We scoop up to the top, and then we switch legs. We step down, and we try to ascend that pubic bone. Inner thighs are active, and from the back of the throat, roll it back down. In. And then X, pressing down through the feet as they are to rise up at the top, float. Let's do that one more time each, scooping up in. Take that foot down and exhale, move and articulate each little vertebra. Ah, 
back down. And then exhale from that pubic bone. That's the point of reference to ascend. We hop up and switch, stepping down. Inner thighs. And rolling it back down. Inhale to release, exhale to find the top, scooping up, scoop up even more as that leg floats, and I'm going to scooch a little bit closer, I got away, and then from there, roll the balls of the hips up, and we stay, we step down, we step down, we step up, and up again down trying to float that pelvis be really mindful of the feet yeah they're a little antenna telling us where to stand whoop and one more starting with that leg down down but trying to scoop up and then up and take a moment there to find the top start with the opposite leg and down down find that scoop and up and up. Of course, there's going to be a little bit of up and down. Whoop, got a little cramp, needed to straighten it out. And down in the pelvis, right? So just let that happen. Just keep thinking float. Up and up. Once more there, down and down. Keep ascending and then up and up. Find your absolute top, even if that means you arch your chest a little. Take a beautiful breath in. Find those inner thighs. And then exhale, soften, articulate, roll back down. Ah, take a moment there. I just got an adjustment in my sternum there. Hmm, interesting. I don't know about you, I am definitely feeling my hams. So let's go ahead and stretch it out. Band or towel, and then just hook the big toe, hook the big toe, hook the pad of the foot uh, around, or hook it around, hook the towel around the pad of your foot. Excuse me there. Take your opposite leg and just let it go. And then from here, really flex up through that foot and just at your own pace, bend ah, and stretch, yawning the back of the knee, the hams open. Give yourself a massage if you need. On this side, I need it. Easy arms, easy shoulders. Ah. Letting, it's almost like, yeah, imagine there's a lung on the back of that thigh, right? And it's breathing in and out, ah, creating more space. Ah. Maybe one or two more for yourself, or if you just wanna hang out there for one or two more breaths, let's just take a moment and stretch. Hmm. Excellent. And then step up and switch. And again, check in. This leg is probably completely different, but still imagine that lung on the back of the thigh and breathe into it. Let it breathe as well. Opposite leg. Make, just check in. Make sure it's nice and floppy. Same with the arms. They're heavy allowing for this oppositional down as the leg reaches up. And again, one or two more, maybe folds there, maybe just staying in the stretch. Another moment or two. And then beautiful, relax. Rock yourself over to the side, push yourself up. And let's swing ourselves around. Let's put the towel to the side or just out of the way. And let's lay down for a bit more extension this way. So let's start pretty low. So maybe the pinky fingers are about an inch above. I have this nice sidebar here that I can walk above as a reference, but uh, just find about an inch for now. And then go ahead and lay your head down. Wiggle your pelvis for a moment, right? Lengthen those legs. And then soften those elbows. From here, we lengthen. And actually, I'm a little close. So I'm going to walk back and lengthen my elbows a little bit. I'm gently pulling it down without actually moving. And just finding that baby swan, that little signet in the upper spine. Checking with the glutes. No need for them to be on. So anchor that pubic bone to lengthen the lower back a bit. 
and then let that release back down. Inhale, rise up by gently pulling down. And what I would like you to feel here is that that pinky side of the arm is active, right? So it's not from up here, rather I'm uh, making my neck long and finding some space by connecting into my armpits. And a place we just don't think enough about. And rise up by gently lengthening and pressing down. And then release down. Good, let's come up a little bit higher. Now maybe the hands are above the head once we rest it down. Again, I'm gonna scooch back, I'm a little off here. And just let that head rest. Inhale, and then exhale. Maybe it's a little bit more full swan. Still, I'm gonna anchor my pubic bone, I'm gonna plug down in those armpits, and then I'm gonna release back down. And actually now I realize I want a little bit more, so I'm gonna move myself a bit closer. Elbows are pretty heavy to start. Inhale, and then exhale, find your edge. Ah, there I go, good. Now I can release my belly button, my pubic bone can anchor, and I can still plug into my armpits. And then release back down. One more there. Inhale up. Scooping that belly button, maybe even looking up slightly. And then exhale down. One more step up, all the way to the top of your chair. And depending on your chair or your shoulders, you might wanna come back down here and just go up a little bit higher. But check in, and if we can make it, let's make it up here. So as high as you are able, draw that head down. Open up the armpits. Then, I'm again, I'm gonna move a little bit closer. And then from here, press down and find your fullest, fullest swan. It might mean that the fingertips reach. And then exhale, maybe we slide a little or soften those elbows. And again, press down, rise up. Again, come back down here if that feels like it's too much. Yeah, or even all the way down, yeah? Find your edge. It's okay if we look different. It's what makes it special. And then once more, we're gonna stay up at our top. I'm definitely feeling my triceps up here, this handy little chair. Spiral the armpits down. Now, just like we did with the legs, we're gonna go up, up, down, down, or down, down, up, up with the arms. So try to stay floating. We put one hand down. We put the second hand down. We put that first hand, I'm gonna try to float more, and up, ooh, and down. And down, try to articulate the hands, reach and switch hands. And down with the opposite, down and up. Feel that bit of spiral in your body. Once more, and down, and down, and up. And woo, see if we can get a little, you got a little more length, inhale. And then exhale, back down, let it go. Take a moment to come on up to your hands and knees. Keep the feet together, open the knees, settle back to child's pose, let that go. Hopefully your back and back chain are feeling lovely and warm and open and enjoy that sensation for the rest of your day. 